I'd like to welcome you all here today at Temecu Hills as we celebrate the 30th anniversary of Rancho Domicidas. And I want to thank Jim for having the idea of starting Rancho Domicidas 30 years ago. I appreciate the services that Rancho Domicidas provides for children and providing them with uh, wonderful direction, compassionate care, and leading them to become successful, productive members of society. So to all of you that are receiving awards today, congratulations to you. And to all of those that volunteer their time at Rancho Domicidas, please keep up the good work. And we're very honored and privileged to have you in our community taking care of our children. Thank you. Well, I initially got involved with uh, Rancho Domicidas uh, from a group of friends at a church I attended in Newport Beach back in the late, uh, would have been the late 70s, early 80s. And uh, through those gentlemen and an inspiration from Howard Amundsen being one of them and, and several others, uh, I, I became very, very interested and very compassionate about seeing uh, group homes for girls primarily at the time was our focus because there was a, a shortage of, of homes for girls at that time. And then as the organization grew, it became obvious that a campus setting, not, not, you know, not unlike what we have here today, was really what was, what was in order uh, for the long term. It's just wonderful to walk around here today and, and see what's happened over this 30 year period of time and knowing the struggles that we had early on and, and how difficult it was to just get it started and, and to see it today is just, was just wonderful. The Temecula Valley Women's Club has been involved with Rancho Damasitas for 30 years. We're a group of dedicated, 157 dedicated women that serve organizations within the Temecula Valley. Uh, most of us, our mothers and grandmothers, feel the real, real, real importance of helping kids wherever we can, and especially those that are neglected or abused, we have special place in our hearts for, and so Rancho Damasitas does that very, very well. I've been a board member since the mid-80s. Uh, I've worked for the Amundsen family in Orange County. He was one of the original founders, along with Jim Fulmer. When I see a home filled with five or six kids, it kind of warms my heart to see that, you know, family, you know, relationships are, are, are growing and building. There's been several people who have, have added to this organization in terms of their, their time and their talent, but I can't think of anyone more deserving uh, who's done the most. Uh, Jim Fulmer would be at the top of my list. We began providing Rancho Domicitas with new school clothing for their recipients and their residents 25 years ago. We have a huge amount of respect for the work that is done here at Rancho Domicitas. I'm just thrilled that the organization is where it is today and the kids that are being taken care of today through this. I'm just thrilled that we've come to this point. Jim, thank you for starting Rancho Domicius. It has been a great blessing in my life. Thank you so much.